guys, this is Lisa, and welcome back to the tag album that we are currently working on. This is a joint venture from MayMayMadeIt.com and Half Photos Will Scrapbook. And so you can look down in, just in the description below and see where I picked up all these products and tools from MayMayMadeIt.com. And you'll also find in the description um, all the, the cutting guide of how we're getting to this process. So you will also find a playlist if you're catching this in the middle of kind of how we got to this point. So what we're making is this little tag album and so far we've got the cover made and we've got some pretties on it already. We've got the pages in here. There's eight pocket pages. We put pockets in the front. We've got two pockets here. We went over that and one in the back. We've got some ribbon. And so now it's time for us to do some tags. So let's talk tags here. Here's some that I have already kind of been working on. This is so cute. This paper's awesome. The tag, let me find you a measurement. Oh, here we go. The tag is three and one quarter by five and one quarter, and it's in the Brutus Monroe lunch bag paper. This is what we've been using so far to make uh, the basis of our album. And so I continued that into the tags and then adding pattern paper and some ribbons really gonna help bring that color to it. So three and a quarter by five and a quarter is the tag. And you can see if you don't put anything else on it, you can put a three by four and a quarter photo here along with these really uh, cool, what are they called? Reinforcement labels that we colored earlier in this process. So let's show you how you can gust those up, right? Look at this one with the little food trucks on it. Love the pretzel truck, of course. And then there's a pretzel I took off the decorative brads that you can also pick up there. Ran me some ribbon through. Um, three by five is going to be the pattern paper that's on the front and back. And then I used the angle punch, and we'll get to that and put those together. And you can see on this one, because I wanted to use that brad, I use some of the stickers to help cover that up and it just becomes part of the design element. So cute. Some of the sunglasses. Oh, the ice creams are so cute. The popsicles. Just the stripes on the back of the paper. Look at those flamingos. I haven't even used that paper yet. So, so cute. So, when you open up the album, I gotta find the one with the, the food trucks, of course. I'm gonna slip that in. And so the way this works is this is going to nestle. It's not gonna go all the way down in there because we cut that slit. So it's gonna kind of stick out like this. And this is not gonna get in the way because it's not supposed to go all the way down. And then by the time you get them all lined up, you're gonna have lots of ribbon hanging out. I think it's going to be adorable. Okay, let's make some tags. Put these away. Put my breads up. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I got my Distress Oxide and Ground Espresso. I got my large angle punch. I've got some of these reinforcement labels. I uh, definitely have my ribbon here pre-cut. Okay, ready to go. And then I'm gonna need my hole punch. And this is a regular um, one quarter of an inch hole punch just from off a supply store because that is what exactly matches those. Okay, so this is where we started out here with a three and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm gonna take my large angle punch. This is a crocodile from We Are Memory Keepers and I'm going to use the large angle. Put my paper in there, chomp it. This thing is so cool, I love all of these. Okay, easy peasy, right? So then I cut another piece of paper here. Do I have a measurement on this one? I do here somewhere. It was a three by five. Do the same thing, I'm gonna use the large angle punch. And then this is gonna be a perfect match here. 
I'm gonna put that down. So on the other side of this one, let's see, what do I want to use? I think I want to use my flamingos. So, so cute. Um, yeah, I think I will use the flamingos. I've already got it cut down. I'm gonna use the large angle punch again. Punch that out. I'm gonna hit it with some Distress Oxide Ground Espresso. You could also, if you have the regular, I mean the regular Distress inks, it's perfectly fine. This is just what I happen to have. I was really hoping they would come out with these in the smaller squares, but I have not heard a word about if that's ever going to happen. So, on the craft tag, I'm going to ink on both sides, because of course you're going to see both sides. But I'm only gonna ink the one side that we're gonna glue. It's gonna be opposite from where we're going to glue down, right? On the others. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with some art glitter glue. Glue it down. So I like to put both sides down first. And then I come back with those reinforcement label circles. And kind of lay those out, eyeball it. And then punch it. Let's see, just a second. I think that works out much better. You don't have to worry about trying to line anything up. Cute so far. Okay. Now, what color do we want here? Pinks or the yellows or the light green? Because I think I'm going to use this pink ribbon. Oh, there's even that purple in there. I think I'm going to use this little bit of purple. And so I just eyeball to the center and right to the top of where my mat is. Put that down. I like to use my bone folder, make sure that's on there good. And then I take a regular hole punch from an office supply store because you want it to be that quarter of an inch, that bigger hole. And I get in there and just kind of line it up as best I can. If I'm off a little bit, it's going to be okay because it's going to have ribbon in there and it, the ribbon's going to cover up this top part anyway, right? I used to stress about that till I realized you can't even see the top part. The ribbon's covering it. Once you've got that done on the other side, then you can flip it around and then just line that one up and put it on. And I would not try to figure that out before you punch it. Just gonna give yourself more stress than you need. Okay, what I normally do is take about seven to eight inches of ribbon Six inches to me is just too difficult to deal with with my big fingers. If you get eight inches, you're gonna cut it down a little bit, between seven and eight, depending. That's just kind of my, my rule as I'm doing tags. It just seems to be a little bit uh, easier to work with. So this is about seven or eight inches. I'm gonna push the loop through the top. Let me start over. So I folded it together. I'm gonna take that loop and hold it over the top, then I'm gonna take my uh, embossing tool so that it won't punch a hole in it, and I'm going to push it through the whole loop, right? Bring it to the back, that loop, okay? And then I can put those tails through there and pull it tight. So I still have some ends that I can trim off, and it's not too short, not too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna trim this up that way. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Okay, there's another tag made. Now, as I was making my tags, I thought, what if I had one that folded together? So let's make one of those together. This is six and a half by five and a quarter. And then I scored it at three and a quarter. I'm just gonna fold that together now. So now this is the same size as this tag, right? Just fold it in half. So 
So let's see if the We Are Memory Keepers is going to balk at this. Oh yeah, it has no problem, even with this really thick cardstock. So now we've got the tag shape. Very cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some ink. I love working on this album, and I think mainly because the paper is so fun and vibrant that it really is just fun to sit and work with. I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe somebody else can, can help me explain it, but you know, it just kind of helps you bring it out of your everyday funk. When I get home from work or, you know, having a rough day or something happens, it's just fun to sit down and not think about any of that other stuff, but just craft. And something about this paper really does that. I know it's not just me, right? Okay, so now how we do this tag? Well, I'm just gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna start with the same size sheets of paper. Let me get my angle punch out. And the pattern paper is a lot less poundage, so I can do more than one at a time. I'm gonna do three, and it easily works through three. And hit that with some ink. Glue those down. And then we'll decide how we're going to do the ribbon. Because if you put ribbon through the whole thing right, you're not going to be able to open it. So my plan is to put ribbon through one part of it. And leave the other open with the reinforcements, right? Okay, so on the front, I want this really, really pretty pattern paper. Oh, but that's pretty too, isn't it? So pretty. I hope you were able to pick up this paper that May May made it. It is really, really pretty. Um, I guess I should tell you again the name of it since I haven't mentioned it in this video. But it is called Best Summer Ever, and it's an Echo Park brand and look at the cute stickers. Oh, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So inside I think I'm going to do this greenish. And then put that blue on the back and just leave one open for now. Man, I'm really enjoying this glue. It makes things so quick. I used to use Tape Runner for everything. And you don't need very much at all. Okay, so now let's see how we can work this out. So if I go all the way through, you're not gonna be able to open it. If you come through the back or the front, you know, I really think I really want it on the front to continue. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my ribbon down. And I'm going to go ahead and choose what color. I think I, yeah, this purple is really close to these purple flowers. So I think I want to choose that. Go ahead and put that here. And that's going to be the basis of how I punch. So let's see if I can actually punch through all these layers at once without hurting myself. Nope, it's not going to do that. That is some thick cardstock. So we'll do one at a time. Here. And let's see if I can do it this way. If not, I'll just open it up. Okay, that works. Now, like I say, once again, if you don't have this, if you don't punch it straight, ribbon's going to cover it. It's going to be fine. Now, let's see. I want pink, I think, here. Side. I don't want to be matchy matchy. I think I'll put yellow here. And on the back on this, this lovely blue, we think this pink will be complimentary there. Very cute. And I may decide that two ribbons might be in order. 
Let's see. We'll start with this one and see. Push that loop through. Come on, little ribbon tail. There we go. Now, cute. Trim this up. Oops. Maybe. Scissors don't want to cooperate. What's up, Fiskers? Okay, that's cute. Let me open it up to this. I don't think it might be okay to add two ribbons. We can at least try. I've got some leftover ribbon here. This one is a little short, but we'll see if I can make it work. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Let's try that again. This is what happens when I use these little pieces of ribbon in my big fingers. I just have to slow down here. Pull through. There we go. So I'm not gonna have much to trim off, so I'm just gonna have to be careful. And trim only on the edges up and down. I think I do better when I when I cut quicker than slower. Oh yes, that's too cute. I do like how this turned out. Very, very cute. Put the lids back on here and let's see. Let's put them in here and see what else we need to work on. So cute. Okay, well I thought the one with the pretzel was my favorite. This one now may be my favorite, right? Fits in here easily. She says as she struggles. <laughs> no, it fits in there. It's just a little tight squeeze. So cute. So once you get your photos on here, like you could put your photos on top of that, like that pink paper or instead of the paper, I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to use it. And I think this would be good for oh, a little kid's summer. Would that not be cute? It'd be so adorable. Let's see, I think I want this one here. This is the first time I'm putting it all in here, so I'm excited to see how it looks and what alterations I need to do, what things we need to add. So cute, look at that. With the ribbons hanging out. Now we've got lots of color on here. I think all we've got left to do is to add some finishing touches. Oh, look, at, and you still have lots of room here for photos. Love, love, love. Well, let me show you what I like to do with stickers. Let's get that sticker sheet out. Once again, this is what we're doing with this best summer ever. Here's the sticker sheet. Here's the decorative brad. So it's got a couple of sticker type things here, but they're chipboard. And I like to take my stickers and um, layer them on top of each other, which I know is not groundbreaking. A lot of people do that. But I like to do it um, probably opposite than some people. I like to layer them together, see what I've got, what looks good together, and then find a place for it instead of the opposite sometimes. Not for every sticker, but a lot of them. For example, let's do this. I'm gonna take a scrap of Not Your Mama's For example, I'm gonna take a scrap of this Brutus Monroe cardstock. This is one that I cut and scored that I did not wind up using, so I'm going to just make sure I avoid those score marks. And I really want to use some of these really, really cute stickers, but I don't like them right by themselves. So I'm gonna start with that as a base, and I'm gonna keep looking and see what could go cool with him, like, oh, this summer. Summer looks really cute there, top of him. 
and I need something with color, like like maybe this. So I guess I should not have pushed that down well. Like maybe the orange. Hmm. No, that didn't quite go. Maybe the sunglasses makes more sense. The summer. Let's do this. What if the summer was over the sunglasses, which was over the flamingo? It's so cute. Know that I like. I like to work in groups three or five normally, so depending on how big the stickers are. So these stickers are kind of small. Hmm. Maybe I'll stick with those three and see what else that I get. Now, I just love this big sticker off by itself. I'm gonna turn it this way so make sure it doesn't get onto these score lines that I don't want to go over. And I'm gonna just go through here and kind of pick out, I like to start with my favorites and then just kind of layer together. Like here's this the truck and then here's the bigger sticker here. Hmm. Maybe not. What will go with the food truck? Oh, like maybe a drink. This little umbrella drink is adorable. And I'm gonna put a popsicle hanging out here. Put this down. Now I'm gonna go take this to my skin and cut. And of course, if you do not have one or don't wish to break that out, you can do some fussy cutting or you don't even have to do this part of it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so that took me about five to six minutes. I put a few of those down, kind of fuss it around with them, put them in my scanning cut, you know, did the cut direct. It's just an extra little step if you like the outline look on here. And this is the .40 outline. Sometimes I like to do this, help dress it up. Not on every project. So cute. Okay, so let's get this book out and see where we need to do some gussing up. We definitely need to put something on the front here. Wonder about this. If we do that though, it's not gonna stand out. We're gonna have to put another piece of paper there. Come back and look at that. See how we had this little thing here that was going to be a tuck space? So if we look through our cards, see if there's any that runs landscape. Well, isn't that a shame? Most of them are portrait and not landscape. There's one that says Epic Waves, that is. And then we have this one that says Summer, but we already have Summer there. So this little Epic Waves is cute. So I'm gonna hit that with some ink. Could even make that into a tag if we want. And see how this could be tucked in here along with the little photo? That would be really cute. I do like that. So I think this is good. We'll put some some pictures there or another tag. See how this can really dress up this and you can use it as a tuck space or you can put your photo here. I really like this one. I really like this one. So let's do, let's do this one. And I'm only gonna run around the edges in case we decide to use this as a tuck space. Still going to put something cute here. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, so I'm going to run through here, put some stickers, and then I think I'm going to cut a few more tags to go in the spots, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's do a final walkthrough of this summer tag album. I hope you like the way it has turned out. 
So just as a review, we used the Best Summer Ever by Echo Park paper. I used some of the decorative brads. I haven't really finished going through all of this. And um, on the front cover here, this is so cute. This little pretzel truck came from right here. It was the chipboard piece. And I cut down a tag. And on the bottom of some of the uh, patterned paper, you see it's got the logo, Best Summer Ever, from the paper. And so I actually trimmed that out to help make a small um, title page for the front of my book. It just turned out to be the perfect size, really. So let's walk through the book. So I've got it tied up. Go ahead and untie that. So this is stationary. This is what we did on the front and the back. I really love this paper. So as you open this up, see you have um, two pockets. So I have made a little place here for a tag. We can put a photo. You can also put one down here. Okay, and then we did this where you have a little tuck space. So you can take some of those cut aparts, put here. Then of course we have our tags. This is one of the stickers that we layered, and then I just cut on the scan and cut. We'll come back and look through the tags again. And so on a lot of these, I'm just gonna let the paper do the talking, and then I'm gonna go back and put some photos on here. This was another one we put three stickers together, and then this was a cut apart. Then I'm just gonna use the tuck space, and I think that's really cute. I just put glue here along the flamingo, and then I actually think it'd be cute to have a small photo actually peeking out from there also. Ice cream cones. Oh, look at the little watermelon, it says yum. I really wanted to use that, I thought it was so pretty. So even though it may not be um, the correct orientation, I just went ahead and put it on there anyway. Flamingos, so cute. Okay, here was the back. I made a little tag to go here, put a photo. And then we'll run back through the tags. This one with the flamingo with the pink. A flamingo and fruit. Guess you don't need to see the backs. All those are just um, some cardstock. So keep the popsicles and the sunglasses. The ice cream, everything you think about with summer. There's the trucks again. And see on this one, I put um, one of those decorative brads on here, here. And I think I'm gonna go back and add some more of those after. I love that. And this was the one that we did that was a double when you open it up. So you can put more photos, more documentation, or just use up some of your pattern paper. So you have plenty of pattern paper left to make some cards. Um, or to add to your stash. And I really hope that you've enjoyed this project. If you have, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you'll see some more projects from me soon. Thanks guys, bye.